All right, let's talk about Folio's library. It's a great place to manage products your firm wants to use on projects, have a bird's eye view of your brand, and reuse items you trust. Whenever you add an item into Folio, Folio automatically organized it into your private searchable product library. So you'll only see products there you trust and know work for you. So here, let's find a sink somewhere in my library and bring it into my kitchen here in the main floor of my Bargava residence project. I'll click here on add from my library. I'll select the schedule that I want to work in. Here, I'm going to pick plumbing. I'll hit OK. Now here in the search bar, I can search for items using any detail in my product description. So I can look for items by color, by manufacturer, Now I'm gonna look for a sink. So I'll type sink into the search bar. I'll click product type. And here, I know this is an extra in my library. It has my old pricing in it, and I just don't want it here anymore. So I'll click and I'll delete this item. Now this delete button is great to get rid of items in your product library that your firm no longer uses or that are discontinued by the manufacturer or aren't sold by your supplier anymore. For now, I'll select this apron sink, I'll click Use Selected, and Folio will bring that item into my project with all of the detail that I had in my library. That includes my documents and the original link, so I can check if the item is still being sold. Even better, I can open up my web clipper, Folio shows me all the details that are currently in my project. And I can swap out any information that's changed since the last time I've used this product. Folio will update that information in my library, and I'll have a master list of products that's up to date while I'm working on a current project. Folio's library makes keeping track of every item so much easier. You don't have to create a large master list, and you don't have to lose valuable product information every time you start a new project. If you have any questions, you can always find us on the help button on the bottom right. Until then, happy creating.